This is the Insta 361X2. Now this is the original Insta 361X. Both of these cameras shoot 5.7K in a spherical format so you can reframe later. However, the X2 is waterproof, it shoots at a higher bitrate, and it's got some features in it that make it a much more usable camera. So in this video, we're gonna dig into the Insta 361X number two and really see what is packed into this little camera. All right guys, let's get into it. So this camera is a 360 camera. However, what I typically use these style of cameras for is not for 360 content. I have done a few VR films in the past and you know the original Insta 361X works well. I mounted this on a drone and got some pretty cool shots with it. But when I'm using a 360 camera, most of the time I'm using it to reframe my shot. The beauty of a 360 camera is that you're basically shooting in spherical. So you're shooting every direction all over and then in post, if you're on your phone or on the computer, you can go through and reframe the shot. And this is why I think it's so much more powerful to use one of these cameras versus a action camera like a GoPro. When you have a 360 spherical format, you never miss the shot and you can reframe. So you can go in post and actually change around how you want the shot to look and then export it out, whether it's a 16 by nine, a vertical nine by 16, a square, or you know some other format. You have so many options because you're basically doing it all later and you're just capturing everything at once. So when I go and do my alpine climbing, which I haven't done a climb in a while, I'm pretty excited to get out there and climb again, but I've always brought with me this original Insta 361X. However, this thing's not waterproof. So I've definitely had this camera fail on me multiple times when it gets wet with all the moisture when you're climbing a mountain. But the reason I bring one of these is that I could just pop this up in situations where I don't really want to be focused on the camera and be able to get the shot. Now before I started using one of these cameras, I would always take a GoPro. And as you can see right here, I would miss the shot. Like the GoPro would be at a weird angle and you can't really see what you want to see because you know, when you're in these situations where you're like climbing up rocks on top of a mountain, the last thing you want to think about is, oh, which way is the camera pointed? Like I'd rather just hit record, let it do its thing, and then later be like, okay, great, I want to grab this shot so I could see over here, and I want to grab this shot so I could see what I'm doing. So that's why 360 cameras are so powerful. Now let's talk about the Insta 361X number two. So when you look at them side by side, they're pretty much the same size. The X2 actually feels a little bit heavier. Now also you have a screen on the front and you can actually see what you're recording. This is a massive upgrade from the original One X because the One X you have two buttons and on the One X you had to click between these two buttons and it was actually kind of hard to use. Like I would just set this up in one mode and just hit record. But if I wanted to do other modes you had to sit here and like tinker with it. With the X2, now you have a touch screen and every direction on the touchscreen does something different. So it has all the swiping features. So using this touchscreen, not only can you see what you're recording, but you can easily change between modes. And I found that just playing around with this camera, I switch it in different modes all the time. Like I'll put it in bolt time mode, grab a shot, put it back into 360, put it into the panoramic or the photo mode and just grab a quick shot. Like there's different ways that you can use this. And I think having the touchscreen makes this a much better camera. Now, a few key things that make this different than the original X is one, you have a higher bit rate. So you have better quality 5.7K. So when you're punching in to do your crops, it's actually gonna look better than the original One X. This is just audio straight out of camera and pretty heavy wind while I'm running with the HDR mode on. All right, so now we are in standard. It's still super windy, exact same lighting setup. I just wanted to show you with the sun directly behind me the difference between HDR and standard. So you guys can get a sense of how much more you're gaining with the HDR. Now this one also has an increased battery life. They said that it's increased by 55%. One thing that I've noticed though is that the battery is actually easier to use. So you have two clips on the side here. You just pop them inwards and it pops out easily. This makes it really easy, but also it's two clips so you're not gonna accidentally bump one of these and the whole thing's gonna pop out. And your card is on the inside of the battery compartment. 
it's waterproof now, so the car's not on the outside like the old one. Now what's cool with this one is they also have a three battery charger that you can get additional. I have that and a couple batteries and it makes it really easy just to throw all my batteries on and charge them all at once. Now something small with the One X2 is this lens guard. It's just a rubber lens guard that goes on top. One of the things when it comes to these 360 cameras is you don't wanna get anything on the lens. You don't want any scratches because it kind of screws it up if you have a mark on your lens. But just having like a little rubberized guard is actually I think better than this whole case. Now one other thing that's really improved on this camera is the artificial intelligence in the shot lab. So there's all these different creative shots that you can do with this camera because it's a 360. And there's this artificial intelligence in the app that not only allows you to reframe, like that's obviously the big thing that you can do with the app, but you can also like duplicate yourself and do these interesting creative shots that you can't really do with other cameras. And that's because it's a blend of using this camera and the artificial intelligence in the app. So one feature is called the freeze frame and this allows you to freeze time and reframe the shot in ultra slow motion. Now in the app you also have tracking software. So you just draw a box around what it is that you wanna track and the software is gonna keep that centered the entire time. And it's really useful because I was like swinging the camera around really trying to get these big motions and I just draw the box and it keeps the subject, whatever it is that I'm focused on, centered throughout the entire frame. You could do some really interesting shots using this because you don't really have to worry about how the camera's moving. This camera is always gonna have your horizon level. That's a huge part about using 360 cameras. They keep your horizon level the entire time. So no matter where you move the camera, in all the spherical ways, your shot's always gonna be level. Now they've improved the bullet time. They've just done some tweaking in the algorithm to make sure that you're always centered and that the camera's flying around you and it looks good. Now in the app, you can also create multi-views. So if you're shooting in the 360 spherical format, it will automatically track your face behind the camera and then you can frame to whatever you want in the other side of the camera. So if you're a vlogger, this would be useful if you wanna keep yourself on screen and then talk about something on the other side. Or if like there's two people in the shot, you can put them side by side and it creates this effect where you both are on the screen at the same time. Now one thing that's great with Insta360 is their software takes out any sort of selfie stick that you have on the bottom. So if you're using this and you have it extended out from you, you'll never actually see the stick no matter where it is. And that's one thing that's really cool because you basically have this floating camera wherever you go and you're never gonna actually see this part of it. Whereas if you have something like a GoPro and you turn it towards yourself and you're shooting like a shot where you're running, you're gonna see the stick. And all Insta360 cameras do is, you know, they get rid of the stick. And it just looks so cool because you got have a floating camera following you in so many different ways. All you have to do is pull this out, put it behind you, put it in front of you, put it down below you, and you have a bunch of shots really quick that are all different angles and unique perspectives. I think one of the biggest barriers for people when it comes to these cameras is this idea that you have 360 footage to work with and it's gonna be hard to work with. Like you don't just plug it into your editing software and go but it's actually much easier than it seems. And if you've never worked with 360, the app that Insta360 has and the software on the computer that you can download makes it super quick to be able to grab shots, reframe, and then pull out the clips that you need. So I don't think that 360 should be a barrier. I think that it's more of a creative tool. And after you play around with it for a little bit, you'll understand that 360 is actually really easy to use. Now I always end up buying the newest GoPro but I found that I actually don't use it as much as I used to. GoPros used to be like the standard when it comes to action cameras. And there's good reason because they're definitely solid cameras. However, 360 gives you so many more options. And I think now that Insta360 has created the One X2 that is waterproof, it makes this a much more usable camera because you could take it with you anywhere. You're gonna get super stable footage. The horizon's always gonna be level and you have so much creative flexibility when it comes to editing your videos later on. So guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this camera down below in the comments. I'll definitely do some more follow-up videos about this camera. So guys, if you have any questions about the Insta360 ONE X2, put them down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this thing. And guys, that is it. I will see you on the next one.